everybody, we're the Amy's, and today we're reviewing Labor Day. Who are police looking for? Frank Chambers, an inmate at Stinchfield Prison serving 18 years for murder. I'd be grateful if you let me stay till nightfall. Isn't it against the law to hide a fugitive? The working title for this film was Stockholm Syndrome, the movie. Make no mistake, the reason why Kate Winslet's hands are shaking in this movie is because she's so embarrassed to be seen in it. Lindsay's hands shake too, but that's because of the DTs. She'll be fine when she gets a drink in her. She can't function or leave the house since her husband died. Who says they don't make great roles for women in Hollywood, huh? You'd think that peaches and sugar would be sexier than uncooked pottery clay, but you'd be wrong. I ask my guests to tie my hands up too whenever they come over and then feed me. Mm -hmm. So then they're like, oh, don't you have two hands? I can be like, they're tied. I hope to God that if I am ever a widow that an escaped convict shows up and forces his way into my home with me and my young son and teaches him how to hold a baseball bat because God knows I'm not gonna have the f time for it. I hope you're a widow too. <laughs> Diane Lane read this script and was like, so, I live this every day. It turns out that Josh Brolin actually did commit the murder for which he was incarcerated, so I guess the lesson here is, fire your agent, Kate. Well, withdrawal in this quantity, this is a little suspicious. But we're gonna let it slide. Tucker? I have always said that I will never fall in love with a convict, but then I saw this movie and I was like, they can bake pie? So I guess. I should never say never. I think this proves that Up in the Air was a fluke, right? I can't wait until the prequel, Memorial Day. It's gonna be a six hour documentary about them opening all the public pools. Mm, it's gonna be good. Amy's review time. Lindsay, mm -hmm. what's your favorite holiday? Any day that Labor Day isn't in theaters. I like Flag Day. Oh, I see. The escaped convict is wearing a Red Sox cap. Yeah. I think we know that George Steinbrenner paid for this film. George Steinbrenner is dead. <laughs> I like that it just makes it seem like Courtney's really into George Steinbrenner. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Don't you ever say Don't you say he's dead! Say a goddamn word about George, George Steinbrenner. George Steinbrenner is a good man and now he's dead. <gasps> A war between gargoyles and demons? Sounds like Christmas at the whole house. <laughs> no, but seriously, it gets real bad. Don't touch it! Abstinence education is getting a little heavy-handed, mm -hmm. wouldn't you yeah. say? 